While the 5.7 magnitude Magna earthquake was historic, it didn't have a high enough magnitude to rupture the surface. Therefore, it wasn't included in a newly released four-year study from the Utah Geological Survey. But it does serve as a reminder, fault lines are all around us. It's not bad to live in earthquake country. Like, we live in earthquake country. We all live on the faults here. A four-year study by geologists providing new detailed mapping of faults in northern Utah. The goal of the study was to characterize the Wasatch Fault Zone um, in a sort of unprecedented manner than we've ever seen before. Geologists were able to map 210 miles of the Wasatch Front, producing high-resolution topographical imagery using LIDAR, or light detection and ranging. A big exciting part of the study is that we're able to see more of the lengths of the fault ruptures from the geologic past, especially in these urban areas. The data shows which areas have had earthquakes rupture the surface in the past and areas that could be susceptible to rupture in the event of a major earthquake in the future. Fault zones are complicated. They are wide. They change um, along the whole range front. Here's a look at updated mapping from the study. Not just a simple line on a map that goes straight up and down the Wasatch Front. It shows faults in urban areas and rural areas, data that can be used by communities to determine land use. Developing around it is a really key part to being safe in the event that we do have a large magnitude earthquake in the future. The new data shows specific areas called special study zones. Those are spots that they recommend investigating further before building and development. To learn more about this entire study, we have it on our website, fox13now.com. In Salt Lake City, Brian Schnee, Fox 13 News, Utah.